Good afternoon, my little butterflies. It is me, Ragged07, and I want to tell you guys a little bit about J7409. Uh, Jay and I have been friends, um, I, I would say a reasonably short period of time. Uh, even though I've been watching your videos since... Oh my goodness, I'm trying to think. I do believe it was when she first started. And anyways, I go to the Hangouts uh, twice a week, um, unless I have things that are demanding my time. But this is actually starting to take priority uh, because it's so informative and everything. Um, and what we do is um, we discuss things that are like, um, like in the news. Uh, some of it's like alternative news. Some of it is... Um, you know, we'll compare it to mainstream, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of this stuff is not, um, not the scary stuff, you know. That's one thing that we do not try to invoke is fear. And, you know, I, I watch enough of that. <laughs> um, but we talk a lot about natural things like space and, and earth changes and um, just, you know, creation, I guess. Everything that's alive. And um, that's good. Everything that God made, that's what we talk about. And it's, it's pretty wild. This week, which is tonight, so please be there. Um, and I have our channel up so you know what it looks like. And see, look, look at that. Isn't that nice? Okay. So uh, tonight's topic is about the meteor Ison. And that is going to come very, very, very close to Earth. And we were just going to have a little roundtable talk. And um, go ahead and check out Jay's, Jay's site. And I think there's also a chat. And you can watch the show from her channel. Um, and I think that's about all. So go check it out. I'll be there giving my two cents and kibitzing. All right, let's go on with this Jasmine tag, now that I gave all the announcements. Um, question number one, do you have binoculars? Uh, no. Question number two, would you like to have a telescope so you could look out into the solar system? Oh, yes, I would love that, but we live in the city, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even be worth the money to get. Um, we used to have one, and you could you could see everything. It was fantastic. Most, actually, most of telescopes today uh, actually go beyond our solar system. Um, I, I actually was been watching um, some telescope videos, and that's why I thought this one was kind of like, oh wow, déjà vu. Um, and they they're amazing, absolutely amazing. The one that we had, um, the only thing I can really remember was seeing Saturn, Jupiter, and uh, his moons. I think Jupiter's a boy. And, um, and Saturn's rings. And I saw Venus, obviously the moon, and uh, probably a bunch of other stuff that I don't remember. Okay. The next one is so my final answer is yes next question do you dream if so how do you know you dream usually it's the first thing that comes out of my brain when I wake up usually uh, it could be a surfacing thought when you wake up but as for my understanding a lot of dreams are like that, you know, it's the, when you're coming up from that REM sleep, that's when you dream the most. I could be wrong, but anyway, um, so that's really nice to know. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, I do, I do dream, I dream a lot. I have some really wild dreams. This is, these are pictures from downtown Columbus, and then some. Oh, there I am. See, I'm still alive. Okay, next question is, 
Have you been somewhere that you've never been before, but uh, when you get there, you have a feeling you, you've been there as you walk around. Okay. Um, yeah, I have several, several times. Um, I would probably say, uh, this one place that we went to, it's an antique store when I was really young and, um, we bought, they were redoing my bedroom to give you an idea <clears throat> how long ago this place, you know, it was. Um, but we went upstairs and then they had, they had the, uh, vanity in there that was, oh my gosh. See, I love old stuff, so I was in heaven. Um, and the dresser that matched it, which is very rare to have both pieces together like that. So they had that, they got that, and they got the brass bed that I refused to sleep on because I, it just, it scared the living daylights out of me. It really did. Um, <laughs> it, it moved, you know, it was like, I, it was scary. And that was at the scary house. So I, I really did not like sleeping there. I felt trapped. Okay. But yes, I was, I felt like when we were picking up this furniture that, um, we were in the upstairs room and I just felt like I had been there before. Like maybe I lived there or I visited there or something and we had never been there. Yeah. Okay. Would you spend a night in, on Halloween that was a so-called haunted house? Um. Yeah, I would. I would. I mean, really, some people do celebrate Halloween, which which is cool, you know. Um, you know, they have a Christian type of thing called um, All Saints Day, and uh, I don't know. It's but see, I don't really. To me, it's just like whatever, you know, anymore. So. If it's haunted, it's going to be haunted all year round. They don't just come out in, you know, on a particular day. They come out when they feel like coming out. And so, being in that, living in a haunted house for several years, uh, Halloween was every day, if you really want to go there. Okay, well, I'm done with Jasmine's tag, and I want to show you this picture. Do you see the heart? Isn't that sweet? I love it. It was like, a little, a little sign or something. Yeah, that can happen. It's not like conjuring something up, no. I mean, but yeah, I, I believe in little, little signs, you know, just to let you know that somebody cares. And so, um, there's this groovy thing down at the short north. Okay, so that, that's what I'm going to end this on, is the groovy thing in the short north. I hope you guys had a really fun time, as much as I did. And please go to J7409 tonight. 7 o'clock. Chowder. Oh, and peace be with you.